Hey, what's up guys? Uh, before I begin this video, I want to thank you all for watching and tuning in. And before I start, could you just hit the subscribe button? It shouldn't take less than 15 seconds. Uh, I would really appreciate it. So again, thank you all for watching. Thank you for the subscribers and enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? Tech9 here. I'm back again with a brand new video. So check this out. I've decided to make a brand new segment on this channel called Tech News. And pretty much Tech News, we're going to be talking about tech that has been released. Not only hardware-wise, software-wise too. So speaking of, so this week um, on the first uh, on the first episode of Tech News, we're going to be talking about um, OnePlus 3, iOS 10, and the new Mac OS and Watch OS 3. <laughs> First of all, let's talk about OnePlus 3. So OnePlus has released their brand new uh, phone, the OnePlus 3. And I can guarantee you that 99.9% .9 of the tech community already knew what the phone would look like and already knew the specs. But here you go. So the OnePlus 3 has a metal unibody and the design, I mean, it looks, it, the bezels are small, but I mean the back, the back looks familiar to a lot of phones out there and I'm talking about a lot of phones. OnePlus 3 isn't really about their design, they're not, they have great design, I mean, they're, but they're, that's not what they're known for. They're known for a uh, great price with little to no compromise. The phone comes equipped with the Snapdragon 820, Adreno 530 GPU and let me tell you this, 6 gigabytes of RAM. How much? 6 gigabytes of RAM. If you are a multitasker, then this phone is definitely for you because it will handle it with no problem at all. I mean, come on, you got 6 gigs of RAM. And I guess that was the highlight of the phone, the 6 gigabytes of RAM. NFC is back. Uh, if you're like me and you didn't use NFC a lot, you won't really miss that feature. And the phone starts at $400, which is a great price for what you're getting. The only compromise that I think was made on the phone is the fact that it wasn't equipped with a quad hd panel instead they used the 1080p amoled which is i mean you won't really tell the difference unless you're using their vr headset the camera i've watched a lot of reviews and let me tell you those reviews came out in the same hour um but yeah i watched a lot of reviews and they all had kind of different opinions on the camera some were kind of disappointed some were happy but I guess we'll meet them in the middle and I would say that the camera the camera is definitely going to get a pass, I mean $400. But then again, I don't think it's a flagship killer. Uh, it, I mean, it's not a flagship killer, but it's definitely up there in the top 10. So there's that. Next up we're going to be talking about Apple and more specifically WWDC and the release of iOS 10. And iOS 10 has not received like a overhaul refreshment like we did from iOS 6 to iOS 7, but there were a lot of improvements in the OS. The iOS 10 brought some great changes, but the the things that I was excited for was the brand new iMessage. I received a really, really. It's not like it doesn't look like it's new, but it has a lot of great features from the a lot of effects when you send in text messages and the emojis are three times bigger and a lot of it has a lot of cool new improvements right when the public beta comes out so stay tuned for that but um so ios 10 also has a great 3d touch implementation because let me tell you if, if you have an iphone 6s then you probably forgot that 3d touch exists apple has given the developers a lot of freedom so they've opened up siri to the developers They've opened up um, iMessage to the developers and some other stuff. But yeah, iOS 10, really solid upgrade. And I can't wait for the public beta to come out. And I will review it for you guys. So stay tuned and make sure to subscribe. And watch OS 3. I mean, it's a, it's a, nice, it's a nice update. Better performance. But then again, uh, smart watches are kind of dying and we want the Apple Watch 2 more than we want another watch OS. It, that's pretty much it for uh, tech news number one. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to make them very long, I'm going to try to make them 5 minutes or shorter. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, 
I'll leave a link to my social media links uh, down. I'll leave a link to my social media down below. And also, thank you all for subscribing. Like this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.